Book ban request. A resident asked the Elizabethtown School District to remove a book that some consider inappropriate for students. Brian Munoz tells us why the district said no. Elizabethtown is the latest school district to face a challenge to ban one of its books. But this growing movement isn't new. It's definitely amped up in recent years, but uh, every year I'd say I've had parents um, sometimes question texts that are in our curriculum. The book in question is Me and Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews. A parent filed a former complaint with the area school board claiming obscene and sexual content and saying the book had little value. Public school teacher Christy Moore disagrees. While it was offensive to some, um, art mimics life and uh, to me it was it was like a real it was a depict a realistic depiction of the way that young people might talk and Pennsylvania is second only to Texas with the highest number of banned books in this country we've seen attempts to ban books for almost 400 years longtime resident Judy Grove is the founder of freedom readers her group meets often to discuss and share their thoughts on other banned books. An educational experience for them to read all different kinds of books because I think once we remove reading and that, we're going to be really chipping away at our democracy. These women want to make one thing clear. One parent should not be able to make that choice for other families as well. The school board may have denied the parents request to remove me and Earl and the Dying Girl from the district's middle and high school libraries, but they can still appeal. We'll see how that goes. Brian Munoz, ABC 27 News.